Hey, it's Ron. Ron's Wood Turner. Welcome to my shop. I got a piece of oak. I've been saving this up. It's been sitting on the ground, actually. Kind of out of the weather. But uh, it's, uh, it's about nine by five and a half. And it's spalted. Natural spalting. It's also kind of punky. So, I've got it on a face plate and I'm going to make it round and then I'm going to have to use some uh, wood hardener. This this end right here is fine, but this end here is kind of punky, so I'm going to have to harden that up as I go in order to get it uh, into a bowl. So I'm going to put it on the lathe and let's get started. Y'all stick with me. Alright, it's just a tiny, tiny bit. Look at this. I don't know if you can see it too well. Let me get the camera over here. Look at all this spalting I got in here. This is going to be nice if I can get this rotten in uh, hardened up. i got to put some resin, some wood hardener, whatever it takes, because this is going to be beautiful. I mean, look at this. But uh, anyway, it's mounted on here and it's almost balanced. I can probably start with 400. And see, it's a little bottom heavy here because this is solid and this is not. So let me get my uh, face shield and all that going and I'll uh, start spinning it. Okay, this is looking kind of iffy. Got holes running all through here. Pretty rotten. It's just tearing off. Solid on this side. I'm going to go ahead and make it round, and then if I can't do nothing with it, I just made a bunch of sawdust. We'll see. Let me keep going. Okay, well it ain't looking no better so far, but I do want to at least get it rounded off before I just throw it in the firebox. Uh, it's pretty punked out right through here, but if I can get some kind of general shape on it, I'll put some wood hardener on it and see if I can resurrect it. If not, I sure am going to miss having all this spalting. I think it might have just gone a little too far. But we'll see, and we'll keep plugging away. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> I don't know gonna be some epoxy inlaying going on on this bad boy. Let me finish getting it round. Once I get it round then I can make a tenon and took my bowl gouge and kind of smooth it as best I can but it, this, this is gonna take some epoxy work before I can even flip it around. Well uh, let's make it round. What, what do I got to lose? Alright, I worked it over with my 5 8 bowl gouge. And I gotta take all this bark off, so that means I got another half inch coming off the diameter. And it's still punky and it's still got holes in it, but I can fill those. But it's getting more firm. This side's good. This side's punk. So I'm gonna keep peeling off layers with the bowl gouge until uh, I get the shape I want and then I'll deal with these holes. 
It's pretty though. Look at it. Look at all that spot. That's awesome. Well, I hope I can get your port. I'm going to give it my best shot. <laughs> Hello, I got a cavern, <laughs> and I got a suspect place to make a tenon. This is rotten here, solid here. So I'm gonna make the biggest tenon as my chuck will hold. Put epoxy and hardener down here, and I still gotta come up. This uh, Thompson. Peeling off about a quarter, three eighths inch at a time. So I'm just gonna keep taking my time till this disappears. And I know I got a cavern here and a little hole here, but I'm gonna work on it. I'm gonna make that work. Man, I got ants climbing out of here. I was wondering what was biting me on the ear. This side's looking good. This side's looking terrible. This is not quite gone yet. I'm going to cut in here a little more. Let me mark that tenon out. All right, so I gotta do some more work here. I'll be back. do some doctoring. First I'm just going to soak this tenon with some thin. Stiffen that up. Ooh, my eyes they burn. Alright. And then I was thinking, I'm just going to grab, put some CA glue on here and grab a handful of sawdust and just fill it all back up with sawdust. Another ant. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit it a little bit at a time with CA glue, grab a handful, rub it in, then hit it on top. And that'll, that'll fill a lot of it. And if there's any big gaping spots left, I'll... Uh, I use epoxy and get that off. But I, I, I'm bound and determined to save this bowl because that's going to be beautiful. When I get it stiff, I'll be able to get it smooth. So that's going to what I'm going to do right now. So let's just pick a spot, the worst one right here. And got me a hand full of sawdust and some CA glue. I think I put a glove on. Ah, 
by it, so I'm just going to keep doing that a bunch of times. Alright, I got the holes all filled up, so now I'm just hitting it with wood hardener. Just do the whole bowl. And I'll have to do the inside too. And I won't be able to finish it today because I'm going to let this dry overnight. And uh, they're all filled up. All the holes got sawdust in them. I think I'm going to save it. I hope so. Alright. Well, I'm going to walk away. I promise I'm not going to mess with it till that stuff is hard. I know I always cheat, but not this time. I'm going to wait till that's hard. So I'll be back. You don't know how bad I want to spin this thing. It's, it feels dry, but I'm going to wait. Matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and put another coat of uh, wood hardener. Uh, because I'm, I'm serious. I'm not going to mess with it until it's dry. Man, that's solid now. And no, it hadn't been overnight. I just, I'm dying to uh, smooth this thing out, but I'm going to wait. I got to cook dinner. And I'm just going to wait. But that's, this is going to clean up nice. All this sawdust, it's going to go away. And you're going to just to see this spalting underneath it. I'm really excited about this piece. Well, I have to do the same thing when I turn it around, but I, I, I'm going to take my time. I think this is going to be beautiful. Be back in a bit. You know what? It's been six hours. I tried it out with my scraper, and I think I can get this sucker smooth. So I'm going to do a little work on it. Six hours, whatever. i got a few hours left tonight, and then I'll... Hit it again tomorrow. That's holding up pretty good, but it's also revealing a couple more soft spots that I didn't have before. This is all solid, but I hadn't got to it yet. This part here, I can sand good. So I'm going to take my bowl gouge and make some nice slicing cuts. And see what it looks like then. I got the shape that I want already. Just a little dent and then up. So let me get my brand spanking new Thompson half inch bowl gouge and make me a slicing cut up here. See where that goes. <laughs> to get this out but look at that wow yeah I'm just gonna keep scraping on it 
I'm going to put another coat of wood hardener on it so I can go another layer and then I'll have it the shape that I want. That is freaking cool. Look at that. <laughs> nice. I am tickled. Look at that. Wow. That is nice. I might have to go buy some more. <laughs> Whatever, it's worth it. This is cool. I've never ever had a piece of wood like this that's free laying in the yard. Nice. I guess y'all could tell I'm happy about this. Yeah, my wife's doing good. She had her hip replaced. She's like the Tasmanian devil with a toothache right now. She's doing good though. Nice. Okay. No more touching till tomorrow. Okay, so what I've been doing is just slowly turning this and looking for little small imperfections. Like there's a tiny little divot right there. And if I look at it from the side, I don't want to scrape that out, so I'm going to fill it. So again, with the handful of sawdust, super glue, and then bam. And then a little touch of thin. And going around, 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 around. I think I got them all. There's one little spot there. Let me hit that. So I've been sitting here doing that for about, I don't know, 15 minutes. And I got them all filled up. So, tomorrow I will finish it. Okay, it's been a night. I let it go all night. So now I'm going to smooth it up. And sand it up. sawdust through here and that should do it. The rest of everything else will sand out pretty easy. Maybe a little sawdust here, a little here. But this is the worst spot so I'm going to hit that again with some thin CA and some sawdust. Last spot. One more.
All right, solid now. Ooh, that's smelly. Okay, that's the first coat of sanding sealer. Probably gonna take about three. And I still got some tiny crevices in this area here. Uh, I'm just gonna leave them. They're not that bad. But look at the spot on them. Is that beautiful or what? Golly. Anyway, I'll let it dry and I'll come back and do a few more coats. Okay, that's coat number two. We'll let it dry real good and then I'm going to give it a good 220 grit sanding. And then I think I'm going to put wipe on poly or something. Something I could build layers with because I still got little imperfections in this area here that every, if I try to go deeper just start all over basically but I got them sealed up so I should be able to build some coats on it and uh, flip it around I'm going with brushing lacquer deft and I'm putting it on with my uh, improvised paint brush down about 200. That's two coats. I can put more on later, but right now I'm going to go ahead and flip it around while it's drying and start eating up the inside. Nice. Alright, it's flipped around, I measured it, I marked it, and I'm going to drill it, and then I'm going to hollow it out. And I know I'm going to have some problems in this area here, so I'll probably have to do the same routine as I did on the outside, on the inside. Uh, let's go. Alright, let's go. I'm going to use the new Thompson for Ron's wood turning shop. Sharp, sharp, sharp. All right. Do 'm going but I wanted to stop I don't have I still got tear out but not near as bad as I did with that carbide wheel but that sharp bowl gouge is going to make quick work of this I just got to be careful because it's pretty rotten right through here and you can feel it going because it's going from hardwood to softwood to hardwood softwood so, I don't think I'm going to have as much trouble finishing the inside, so let me go ahead and finish hollowing this thing out. Okay, it's getting there. And this is the punky side, same as this right here. It's solid here, but it's punky in here, and then it's solid almost all the way around. So this is the only problem I'm going to have to play with. And, uh, but I'm going to go ahead keep it this diameter all the way to the bottom 
So I got some more work to do, and then I will same thing, super glue and sawdust the inside here. So, man, it's looking good though. Look at that spot. That's nice. Okay, that's uh, two coats of lacquer. And I'm going to put some more on it. But you got to wait two hours between, you know, different coats. I want to put at least five or six on there. And uh, so I ain't going to finish it today. But look at it. It is nice. Wow. Cool. All right, I'll be back with a close-up and some pictures. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this off before it gets too long, but here it is. And I fought it, and I won. But it's not perfect. It's just almost rotten, you know. I mean, there's still dents and stuff in there. It's like one of them abstract art pictures. you got to stand way back and see it, and it looks great. You get up close, and what the hell is that? But anyway, check it out. Old piece of wood laying in the yard. And uh, naturally spalted. I didn't spalt it. I don't know how to spalt. Uh, but I like it. So I'm glad y'all stuck with me. And uh, like and subscribe. And y'all have a great day. And thank you for visiting Ron's Wood Turning Shop. Oh, one more look. That's cool, huh?